The new revelation is stunning. According to investigators, the mother of 22-month-old Cooper Harris says she also researched on the Internet how children die in hot cars. It follows a similar jaw-dropping admission by the boy's father. Both stories summarized in police search warrants released over the weekend. He stated he recently researched through the Internet child deaths inside vehicles and what temperature it needs to be for that to occur. Justin stated he was fearful this could happen. It did happen less than two weeks ago. Police say Justin Ross Harris left his son strapped in a rear-facing child seat in the backseat of his SUV for close to seven hours in the parking lot at work. Temperatures hit the 90s that day. The father says he forgot to take the boy to daycare. Police say Harris was seen at lunchtime returning to the vehicle and placing an item in the front seat before going back to his office. Dad's being held without bond, charged with felony murder and second-degree child cruelty. So far, no charges have been filed against the boy's mother. Police made the documents public Saturday, the same day hundreds gathered in Alabama for little Cooper's funeral. Witnesses say his tiny casket was red, his favorite color. No cameras were allowed, but reporters could attend. The emotional service included the family's first public statements. Leanna Harris defended her husband during her child's eulogy, saying, Am I angry with Ross? Absolutely not. It has never crossed my mind. CNN's Nick Valencia was in the church. What got the reaction was um, when she said, Ross Harris is a wonderful father. And everybody stood up and started clapping. It was an unprovoked moment. Then Cooper's father spoke by a phone from his jail cell. You could hear him sobbing over the phone, trying to catch his breath. That got very emotional for people in the crowd. Do you remember some of what he said? He said thank you. He thanked those in the crowd for not only supporting him, but also supporting his son. What was to be a service to remember a child also became a defense of the father charged with his death, leaving even those attending torn by anguish and allegations. I mean, he could have gone to the car and not seen the little boy if the boy was sleeping or, you know, it could have. I mean, he could have been distracted. So, but I do have questions about it.